Asheville City Council passes the controversial Business Improvement District, a nonprofit downtown zone funded by a property tax increase. A big part of the debate focused on that tax and how residents would pay right along with downtown merchants. News 13's Frank Crocker joins us live at City Hall. Frank, this has been on the table for quite some time. It certainly has. People downtown have been looking at this concept for years. Tonight's vote, well, it came after a second public hearing, and not before there were some adjustments made in the bid. In the past 20 years, the value of downtown property has increased sixfold. The revised plan made the district boundary smaller, changed the makeup of the governing board, delayed the disputed ambassador program, and opened the possibility of a lower tax rate to fund the bid. But for some, that doesn't matter. This is what it is. It's a business improvement district. It is not a residential improvement district. I don't have a business. Many here tonight made it obvious which side of the argument they're on. They proudly displayed it. James Challen was perhaps the most outspoken. We spend money downtown and we also clean up our own property. I do not understand why property owners cannot clean up their own property. But even the more soft-spoken made it clear where they stand. For me, it's my community, it's my neighborhood, and I want the whole neighborhood to be beautiful, not just my building. I want the whole neighborhood to be graffiti-free um, and safe, so I hope you'll support the bid. Those dollars are going to the city that uh, should help all the taxpayers because we are adding to the tax base that would not have existed there without the tourism. That was John McKibben, the hotel owner, who's caused quite a stir with his controversial Basilica project and would stand to pay a lot higher tax rate with all of this. We're going to hear more from him at 11 and how he or why he would be in favor of the bid. Reporting live in Asheville, Frank Crocker, News 13.